watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schaller and this quick tip video is on Speed Packs Basics using Speed Packs graphics only mode to speed up opening and processing an assembly. This is using Speed Pack in its most raw form. This assembly took me almost a minute to load and you can see it has a circuit board parts under the circuit board, lots of stuff in this sub-assembly part of this overall assembly. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to use speed pack in its most raw form. A, speed pack works inside the assembly mode. It works inside the configuration mode, but I'm going to cover how to use it outside of the configuration mode and show you what it does to create a configuration and how to update a speed pack sub assembly. So first off, you have to know how to put it into that speed pack mode. The simplest way to do that is to right click on the sub assembly, go into speed pack options and set it. You can set it for a mated speed pack or a graphic speed pack. Mated will still let you mate to all the surfaces being mated, so you can use whatever surfaces are currently being used to mate with. I'm not going to cover this speed pack in this video. I'm covering the simpler version, which is also the faster version. So that's create a graphic speed pack mode. And what this does is it puts that entire sub assembly somewhat into a simple e drawing type of scenario as far as speed is concerned. What it really does is it puts the sub assembly into speed pack mode. And you can see that. If I right click now, my options are set back to parent or update the current speed pack. If there was something to update in it, I would see a little update explanation mark right on the speed pack. So how can we take advantage of this speed pack? Simply put, I can go ahead and save this and then I can exit out and I can go in and open this again. And I'll show you on open how if you open with it in the speed pack mode, how we'll be able to go in and open it a lot faster. So here's where I'm going to open it and this is the trick to using the speed pack mode. If you've saved the assembly with sub assemblies in the speed pack mode, whether it's graphic speed pack or the mated speed pack, you click right here on the open and then you go to the open command. When you do that, it is now going to take this about 15, less than 20 seconds to open my model and let me start to work. Where again, when I opened this before the video, it took almost up to 60 seconds. So now that the assembly is open and I want to work within it, I can do something that might have an effect and need to change on the speed pack. And if I did that, what I would be doing is, A, I would see an explanation mark on the speed pack. And if I wanted to process it, I can process it at a select time by clicking the update speed pack button. If I click the update speed pack button, it's going to load the entire assembly and process the entire assembly as well. So it'll take it right back to the time mode that it was before you put it into speed pack mode. So again, getting it into speed pack mode, you can take any sub assembly, right click, go to speed pack options and create that graphic speed pack. Okay. To update something that would need updating, you hit the update speed pack at a selected time when you want to take the time to process it. The other thing I want to show besides opening and leaving it in speed pack mode so it processes the rest of the assembly and everything except for what's in the speed pack super quick, I want to show how to take it back and put it into its parent mode and set it all the way back so that you could go back and set it into a mated speed pack if you wanted. Set speed pack back to parent isn't the only thing that you do to get rid of that speed pack mode. At first it might look like it is, but when I go set back to speed pack, A, it's going to take the time to process this entire assembly again and load it. And then 
if I look at my speed pack options, I only have use speed pack, which will put it right back into that graphic speed pack. Well, what if I wanted to go back like I never set it in speed pack mode and I wanted to set it back into a mated speed pack? Well, this is where we'd need to go in and open this up because what's happened, it's a macro command that when you go right click and set the speed pack mode, it goes in and it sets this configuration with that speed pack. So I'd have to go in and get rid of that speed pack in order to go back into the assembly and see when I'm in my master assembly that this speed pack now can be set to a graphic or a mated speed pack mode. So that's the raw basics of using speed pack to open your model quicker by going in and opening it with the speed pack mode checked. Of course, you have to have your subassembly set to speed pack first, but then you'll be getting open times that are substantially faster, processing times in the assembly that are substantially faster just by using the graphic speed pack mode that you can set from the root directory of the menu. So that's it with the basics of graphic speed pack. Hope you can join me in my next video with my mated speed pack version. Thanks for watching another Go Engineer quick tip video.